Hey guys, today we're going to be covering Xiaomi. Now, Xiaomi and Huawei are the two most, I would say, innovative com companies in China. I could be wrong in that. However, they have extremely passionate following, almost like over in America with the Android versus iOS ecosystems. However, the Huawei following is much more passionate. As I've investigated, I think it's the sense of national pride that the Chinese have because Huawei was attacked through US sanctions, which were designed to literally put it out of business and to destroy it. And Huawei has developed this like internal reliance, this self-developed alliance, homegrown reliance, all from China on up. And it's just not only survived, but it has thrived. But with that said, Xiaomi is doing some amazing new things. They have great and really fun products. And I just wanted to talk about them today. So first thing we're gonna look at is the Xiaomi, uh, I think it's called the 15S Pro. It's a new phone that they release. And as usual, when you release any new phone in China, their smartphone market is incredibly intense. So if you are lacking in design, value, or performance, you have absolutely no chance, okay? It's just a ruthless market, as it should be, right? Because it gives the consumer the best value. So the 15S Pro, it hits out of the park on all of those things. However, most importantly, Xiaomi released their own SOC. It's their own internally designed SOC. Now, unlike Huawei, Xiaomi is not sanctioned, so they are able to license their cores from ARM, and they were able to license the V9 ISA from ARMS also. And the sh chip that they ran was produced in TSMC using the three nanometer technology, but the design your own SOC is absolutely still an incredible feat, saves them roughly, I think 30 to 35% estimated cost per die, which is a significant amount. Plus you have the fact that your customization on that is from the ground up, i.e. you own a little bit more of the stack. And so Xiaomi is going ahead, they're releasing this and their new phone, they're having it power their new Pad 7 Ultra. And uh, the interesting thing though, is they still announced that they're gonna have a partnership with Qualcomm for I believe four to five years. And I find that very interesting after they just went ahead and announced this new, new uh, SOC that they developed internally. So those are two new devices coming out from Xiaomi with their own X-Ring 01. Again, the first SOC I think they've developed in at least six to seven years. And they actually had a second SOC that they announced. This was called the uh, Xiaomi. And the Xiaomi was designed, an SOC design for Xiaomi's uh, ADAS systems in their cars. So that'd be their advanced driving uh, assistant systems in their cars. Now that would include the wonderfully successful SU7, which you know I've covered on here, the SU7 and the SU7 Ultra, which has over 1500 horsepower. It's just an absolute incredible car. It has a refrigerator, it has insane acceleration, and it's just a joy to look at. It looks like a supercar. Remember that CEO Jim Farley of Ford, okay, imported this car got certified to drive on American roads, drove it for six months and said that if they, if these cars came over here, they would destroy the American market because nobody would want to buy our cars. And that is the best car he's ever driven, right? That he loved driving that car. However, the SU7 was designed using the, uh, for self-driving capabilities, it was using the NVIDIA Orin chip Okay, so now Huawei, or sorry, Xiaomi has their own chip that they're developing to power this on future models. Though to be certain, the new SU7, sorry, XU7s that come out, no, SU7s, my bad. The new SU7s that come out will move over to NVIDIA's Thor chip next before they shift over to Xiaomi. But we have a new vehicle from Xiaomi that is the YU7. It's a crossover that looks like a Ferrari. I kid you not. I should have did this inside on the computer. My kids are home for the summer. The house is loud. Apologies about that. But go look at this car. It is absolutely gorgeous. I swear it looks like a Ferrari. It's beautiful. Just again, Xiaomi knocking out of park. Just like the smartphones, design features, performance, value. You have to hit on all these things to be able to compete in the Chinese market. And uh, Xiaomi absolutely did that. 
Now this will be powered by the Thor chip too. And I do want to point out that this is significant because Xiaomi, very unfortunately, a terrible thing happened. They had their first ADAS uh, accident involving the death of the individuals. And so there's three Chinese citizens that died. It's a tragic accident. I don't want to speak too much about the details of it. It's under investigation. I don't want to lay blame on anyone because, you know, I don't know enough about it. No one really does. However, I do think that by Xiaomi developing this in-house chip, I think this is very important. When you come to self-driving, you want to own as much of the stack as possible so that you know absolutely every single thing that's happening. And also a significant thing of note here is that while the SU7 offers LiDAR, this specific version was the base model that the occupants were in and they did not have LiDAR. Now, I'm not saying it wouldn't have happened without LiDAR. But for me and myself, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a big proponent of LiDAR. It adds another mapping of the world. People are like, oh, you only need vision. You know what? What's wrong with having more sensors? Okay. Yes, all the LiDAR equipped cars also have vision. They also have AI. What's wrong with having another set of sensor suites called LiDAR? which in some ways I think personally is better than vision in some sense. Remember, it builds you a physicality to the world. It, the laser's like your hand is going out and it's touching things. So you have precise measurement of distance, okay? It's absolutely incredible what LiDAR can do. And I can tell you that personally, if ADAS systems ever come to America that we can ever buy, right? I will not be buying something for myself that does not I mean, at this level of level four, level five, we do have ADS over here with Tesla, but I wouldn't buy their system. Uh, I'm not supporting Musk. And all the other ones are very inferior to what's over in China. But when we start having options over here, I myself, I'm going to make sure that whatever option I get has LiDAR. And I do think that by uh, Xiaomi going ahead, developing their own SOC for the driving, you know, this is going to be tremendous towards the safety in the future. Self-driving cars. We're talking about something that's extremely dangerous. You can see here the CEO of Waymo said, hey, we didn't want to roll this out at scale super fast because we were concerned about safety, safety, safety. And when you hear about three people unfortunately losing their lives, that's probably the best approach to take. So anyways... Thank you for listening today. That's what I got for you. It's these wonderful new devices from Xiaomi. Uh, this is Ruben Tech, where we talk about the intersection of tech, politics, and finance. Lately, we've been talking a lot of politics, unfortunately, because it's been intersecting with tech. Um, if you like and support, if you like what we're doing, you can uh, hit like and subscribe down below. You can leave a comment if you don't like what we're doing, or if you want to just talk with me and positive, leave a comment. I'm always in the comment section. And of course, if you want to support this channel a little bit more and can spare the cup of a uh, price of a cup of coffee, we have memberships available for you. Otherwise, just have a great day to everybody out there. Remember to take care of yourself, get some physical exercise, eat right, sleep right, and try to get some exercise. I know this sounds corny, but truly it is the best way to go. Take care. Bye-bye.